What's up guys, it's Airstuff FPV here, proudly introducing my 1.7 meter wingspan Silver Spectre autonomous UAV for FPV surveillance and observations. This particular FPV aircraft is redeveloped from my 1.6 meter wingspan Silver Shadow UAV from a year ago, which began to develop minor weak points in aerodynamics and durability over time. But all of that is addressed and solved in the process of building the Silver Spectre UAV with improved structural integrity, a different tail design and other design changes to enhance its performance, flight time and FPV experience. So the aircraft, as you guys can see, has a unique tail design, but this is called an inverted V-tail, or call it an A-tail. Comparing this tail design with its predecessor allows to see a couple of advantages I have over its predecessor. The first advantage over the previous design is having yaw control now. The previous design had just one servo in the tail to control for the elevator, but this design has two individual servos to control for yaw and pitch. And the other advantage I have with this inverted V-tail is its clearance from the accelerated air by the prop, enhancing flight efficiency as well. The other major reconsideration in this design was having a larger fuselage pod. The first idea was to get the motor further back than before to increase prop efficiency due to its clearance from the trailing edge and to accept larger batteries or additional camera gear without making the aircraft nose heavy. And with this larger fuselage size I have the advantage of installing additional electronics like telemetry, transmitters, additional cameras or batteries for improved flight times. So right now I want to call out the individuals that contributed to this build since the flying wing design which are Jim Callen. Martin B, PCK1, Max R, Tom S, and 316 Leather at Instagram. So I'm very thankful and appreciative for these people who helped me buy the equipment needed to build this UAV and others to follow. I really appreciate you guys for supporting my hobby to design and fly custom built FPV aircraft with their own specialities. If you'd like to support me as well, feel free to check out this page on buymeacoffee.com and to get me going in these midnight build sessions because yes, this great hobby of mine kind of got out of hand and I'm doing my best to document it all for you guys. So I hope I got you guys excited and introduced well enough to the Silver Spectre platform and additional information about its flight time, efficiency and handling will follow in the flight video. So before starting to build this aircraft, I'm going to provide you guys with this overview of all the electronics and materials I use to build this aircraft. Links are placed in the comment section and in the description and there's a good chance they are working now, but if they still aren't working, you would just type in the name and still find them as well. So the first thing that we're going to build is the fuselage. The fuselage is 60 centimeters in length and you got the dimensions uh, right there. And we're gonna use the Experimental Airlines technique to form the fuselage. That means taping the outer side of the fuselage for its protection and durability with your uh, chosen color of tape. And then afterwards, you're gonna cut halfway through that foam board to form the shape when you uh, fold the uh, foam board over into its uh, shape. Then I use a ruler or like the sharp side of the ruler to widen the cut and to make the fold easier.
So what you want to do next is when the glue has been hardened, you want to remove your outer strip and then reinforce the junction with some tape. It could be clear tape, it could be fiber tape. Well, I'm using duct tape uh, for its durability because it's going to land on that particular side of the fuselage. So to make it as durable as possible, I use one or two layers of duct tape and then finally like cover it up with the silver tape. So what we're going to build next is the center wing section. This is 40 centimeters in its length. You could uh, make it more or less, uh, but this is the design parameter that I had in mind to make it 40 centimeters and it has a six inch cord. So as per Experiment Airlines techniques, I'm taping the outside with my chosen color of tape was the Silver Spectre. So I'm using silver tape. So for gluing the formers in place, I went ahead and first used a paint stick with the same uh, dimension. It's just one inch in its width and it's the entire length of the mid wing section. And the reason why I use a paint stick is because it's strong and light. Uh, this is because the mid section is going to be loaded and stressed the most. But all the other formers are just made of one millimeters XPS foam strips. And so this is totally up to you, but what I did next was glue another 40 centimeter paint stick behind the initial trailing former. And this is for later on when we glue the two booms to the edge of the outer wing so that the twin booms would have a solid uh, joining point. And then I went ahead and put odd glue on every internal like former and then folded the one flap of the outer wing over to form the wing. So what we're going to build next is the inverted V tail stabilizer structure. I have a plus sign in parentheses with XPS support because I'm going to glue the bottom surface of the stabilizer with an additional layer of five millimeters XPS foam. This is to hold the twin booms later on a bit more sturdy and more solid and to improve the structural integrity of the whole aircraft as well. So with the additional layers of XPS foam board to make the tail more rigid and more solid, uh, it got a bit more blocky. So I went ahead to work on its aerodynamics and make it a bit more uh, smooth on the edges. So we're going to glue the booms on the middle wing section and on the tail. Well, the first thing that I did was mark one centimeter away from each side of the middle wing on the bottom side and took away the foam board. And you guys could see right now why I also use paint sticks as the bottom formers, not only for the strength of the main wing, but also to make the joint for the booms to the main wing a lot more solid and stiff. Thank you. 
So after the glue dried on the front side of the booms to the center section of the wing, I went ahead and took the tail section and glued that at the rear of the twin booms. So the thing that we're gonna do next is measure 22 and a half centimeters from the front part and also six inches away from that first mark because that's the cord of our wing and remove the paper from that. And also from the bottom side of our mid wing section with the booms and a stabilizer because we're gonna glue the mid wing on the fuselage pot and reinforce the glued junction with plastic cards and maybe rubber bands if you're gonna use that way. And here you got the dimensions to form your two outer wings to be joined to the center wing. Uh, these are 65 centimeters by six inches in cord to uh, also match and fit in the center wing section. And these don't have to be as reinforced as much. So they are also made as light as possible with just XPS foam board formers only. So in this section, you would just see me uh, finishing the aircraft up by installing the necessary cables and wires for the servos, but also installing the flight controller and uh, receiver and everything else to make it ready for its maiden flight.
After finishing installing the servos, flight controller, GPS and FPV gear, I went ahead to configure the flight controller to make it ready for its first flight. To not make this video too long, I am leaving the maiden flight video with detailed information about its performance and comparisons for another day. I hope you guys learned and enjoyed the build video of the Silver Spectre UAV for FPV and more. Please leave a like to support the video and share for others to be inspired and build their own Silver Spectre FPV platform. Thank you guys so much for watching again and I'll catch you guys in the next video.